Good morning, guys. I am here today on a Sunday morning with Sister Marilyn, and she's been telling me she has an Aki tree. So this morning, driving up the street, I saw her. As she was cutting a cherry tree. Uh, what was a name tree? No tree, tree, which was preventing her from getting her cherry tree to her cherry tree. Sorry. So now. I am here with her, so she's showing me the Aki and telling me what you could do with the Aki. So here we go, Sister Marilyn. Let's see it close up. Okay. This is the Aki. Mm -hmm. You take out the seed and you take the white part and you cook it with salt fish. You strip it down with the salt fish and this is a dish, a meal. So I know the Aki, they always say that they make Aki and salt fish. So you have to cook them together though. It's like a one dish or you have to do them one, separately? one dish. Mm. You fix the salt fish and then you fix the aki with the salt fish and you serve it. Good. So this is what we do. So this is what you do with it? Yeah. Okay, so I am going to show them the aki tree itself. So this is the aki tree, guys. Woo! live it looks really good look at me here close up to aki that i never knew we had it here on the island of saint croix oh, he does have one too so what is the history about this aki tree how did you come about getting it a friend gave it to me a friend a friend my neighbor miss Hadji, gave it to me and i planted it i didn't know what it's all about so one day when I'm here sitting down under the tree where we eat lunch every Saturday, mm -hmm. I saw... So let me show them a little bit under the tree to see what it looks like. Start to blossom and then I see this pink thing come out, orange color thing come out. Mm -hmm. And then I ask somebody what it's all about and they say, Aki, before set, I didn't eat it. I was afraid, but I have a <laughs> friend in Connecticut that I just met. And I called her and I said, you know what, I have an Aki tree, but I don't know how to eat it. How to go about, you know, preparing it, mm -hmm. preparing it. So she told me how to do it, and now I start eating my aki like I'm a Jamaican. So the the friend in Connecticut is a Jamaican. Yeah. Oh, nice. And she told you how to she do told it. Me how to do that? Do mm. this aki. Yeah, that's one of their favorite dish. Yes, aki. Let me see if I could pick one up. My, let me just pick one. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, how do I go about opening it? No, you're supposed to leave late open, but oh, you have to open my. Yeah, you should have take this. <laughs> so, I just destroyed one. <laughs> That's okay. Take this one. <laughs> you have to let it open. If it don't open, it would poison you. Oh, that's how it works? <laughs> for real? Yeah, that's how it works. Well, thanks for telling me because I was just going to use it. <laughs> uh, uh, you have to open on the tree. Guys, you actually, the tree, uh -huh. then you take out the, the seed, uh -huh. and the white part is you prepare it with the salt fish. Oh boy, when you don't know, you just don't know. I was and about I to take it. To eat it because it's poisonous. So, okay, so then to get, is there a way you have to do it so you don't be poisonous though? Because some things, when they're poisonous, there's a certain way you have to prepare it. Well, you have to wait until it open on the tree. Mm -hmm. When it bursts, then you prepare it. If it don't burst, don't trouble it. You have to burst. Like this. Yeah. Wow. Otherwise, you don't eat it. Otherwise, it would poison you. If you, you open it by itself, it have something. Like I just it. did. Yeah. Don't. You don't open. So, guys, it. you hear what she it. said? Don't open. Don't pick it when it's not popped open like this, because it can be poisonous. So, the people that don't know about this, this is aki, the Jamaican favorite fruit. Where, and they use it to with saltfish and they, they call it aki and saltfish. So this is the tree. I'm just going to show you again. This is the aki tree right here. She got a lot of them on the tree. Uh -huh. And if I could have get to the cherry tree, I could have show them what the cherry tree looks like. But I would have to go all the way back outside. And maybe I can. You can, yeah. Let's go to the out, outside, guys. I'm taking a walk on the street so I could show you. And this is um, carambola, which they call it star fruit. So here, and this is papaya here. Where's sugar apple? Oh yeah, sugar apple right here. 
And that's the Christmas tree. Where's the sugar apple? Let me see if I find one. Right. Where's the Christmas tree? Oh yeah, that's, that's the, the Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. Right here. And this is bird of bird of paradise. But this thing here? Flowers, yeah. It normally it'll be red, right? Yeah, it don't have any flowers as yet. Okay. So let's go over to the cherry trees. I'm gonna have to walk. What is this now? Oh, the carambola, mm -hmm. a little more. Okay, so when I'm going, I need to take a few of them. So guys, I'm at okay. Sister Marilyn's house. Oh yeah, so here she get the cherries. See the cherries we buy from the grocery store? This is it here. See how they look? They're just smaller, but these are the cherries that we buy from the grocery stores, guys. It's amazing. So I maybe don't have to go to the cherry tree since you no, have all of that no. already. And then this is what they call Nooni. Nooni. That's the Nooni tree. That's the Nooni. They don't use Nooni. it for <clears throat> what is Nooni food for? Good for cancer. Mm -hmm. Take a better one. No, this one. Okay. This is good for cancer, and you usually use it just for to make a drink. Mm -hmm. It's good for pain. If the, you have pain in your feet, you could put on the bush on your feet. Like the leaves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have the papaya, the salt up. No, look at this one there. This is um sweet. What do they call this that's one? The, that's the sugar apple. You could come out here. That's the sugar you apple right here. here. If it have any seeds, yeah, you have. Yeah, I have right here. You have? Yeah. And this is like sour orange. Yeah, it's sour orange. You get a lot of stuff in your yard. That's sour orange, guys. You could make a good juice with that. And also you can use it in the place of lime like when you have like fish and you want to use it to season up and wash the fish of meats you can always use that to do it too is there anything I'm missing sister Marilyn oh look kenip I'm seeing it you have sour up there too She got a lot of stuff in that yard of hers. Oh yeah, look. What? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. This is the pumpkin tree. Yes, it get one on it. And you have more sour up up there. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that big one. That's a huge one up here. That might be ready soon. Yeah. Actually, it's ready. You could just pick it and put it to right. I have a tree too, you know. Okay. Yes, I do not want to take it and I have at home already. So. I ate one yesterday. Oh, what is this little bitty thing here now? What's that? Oh, this is baby lime. Baby lime? This is the baby lime. It's good for the heart. Oh, nice. Yeah. You can see me, right? Yeah, let me put you in there. You want me to pick it? Yes. Baby lime. So how do you prepare that? Usually when they, you have your babies mm -hmm. and they are not and their the mouth is not running water, mm -hmm. you take the baby lime and you squeeze the baby lime in the mouth and then start dribbling. Oh yeah? So if the dribbling stop. So the baby if the dribbling, Hi. Okay. You use if that. The mm -hmm. stop, this is what you put in the mouth to start the dribbling. So this is what you call baby lime and it's good for your heart. The bush is good for your heart too. Nice. Wonderful. And the palm trees is to decorate the yard. <laughs> for your the palm trees? Yes. yes. Hi. I'm learning some tree, stuff with Sister Marion. The what? Tree straight to the back. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. I should go back. I should go back to my original plan when I said I was going to show them the grape yeah, the tree. Grape tree yeah. Show them the grape tree still. Yeah. Taking a walk to the grape tree. And this is for wine. 
Oh yeah, that's the very vine, guys. The famous very this vine is, that's good for so potato, many things. Potato vines. Oh yeah. That is like a cactus. Yeah, that's the one that they call the. I think what they call it now, snake something. Okay. Then this is eyebright. Eyebright. This is the eyebright. This one. Mm-hmm. And that is lemon, lemon grass. grass. And this is a special sage. A sage. Okay. Okay, we're going to our famous grape, the grape tree that I promised I was going to show you guys. See the grapes here on the tree? This is the grape tree. That's, so that's the vine for the grape tree, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's the vine. This is, this is the grape. This is, they're still small. They are still small. They're just coming up. Mm -hmm. But this is the real grape. That's amazing. This is one too. This is part of it. Yeah. These are a little bigger. Right here. This one says Sister Marilyn. Oh okay. yeah. Wow. And can you feel that can you feel? It's a lot. A lot. Yes, for real. And you go up in the tree. You have to push them. Oh no, let me just show them the top part here. Look at all of this. Oh yes, it's on the Christmas tree. So it loves the Christmas tree. So it's really good. So you're not going to be able to reach all of these things up here though. You know what you should do? Buy one of those um, things that look like a basket kind of a one. You have a long stick with it. Mm -hmm. A picker. Yeah, I, have, I think they have something similar to that. Right, so then it will just fall in there and then you will not lose so much. Yeah, I have to buy a next one. Type That's a whole lot of grapes. A lot of grapes. So then I know where you where they are. So when I'm driving, I could stop by the street because Sister Marilyn is not going to call the police for trespassing. She knows me well. <laughs> That's for you. Not to share. Not to share. Are you know, right? <laughs> See, all where the vine is, oh man, spreads far. She just finished cutting this branch here so she could lower the grapes down so she's to her level where she could get some of it you're gonna pull it out from there sister marilyn careful you want it to drop i would leave it alone for now yeah and that's why they knocked out oh, there somebody drove into your fence huh somebody knocked it down the fence mm. wow Oil or something. Oh yeah, look. True. That's how the tree came down, you know. Mm hmm And I was planning to come here and cut away tree when I come back. Same thing with this thing. This is a uh, yellow, a red plum tree. Where is it? Right here. A red plum? Yeah, and then we have the it's far back avocado there. tree. Where's the avocado tree? It's right inside here. Oh, okay. Yeah, the vine already covered it. All the yeah. grapes and then vine you have, on there. You have the. What do you call it? The other tree. That's boost. The nose. Look and at this. <laughs> Somebody knocked on my fence. Bruce! So, I, have to so I, should, I should actually put you on my camera because you always used to this. So now you are live on YouTube. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Bruce. He always takes my picture. He's like, I am a model when he sees me. So now I'm just doing him the same thing. <laughs> Payback is good, right? So you have your YouTube channel. I have my YouTube channel. <laughs> so someone ran into the camera. Yeah, remember I told you I was going away? Yeah. Hi. Going going? Huh? Guys, thanks for watching. I am finish showing you all the little stuff that we get here no somebody so, went into it when i went away we'll talk later